Good morning, FS Club Blog Back Channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in just one video for the day. Talk about a Tuesday. Wow, just wow. 40 new mods and updates released at 5 a.m. my time, so I'm still kind of waking up. Giants, why you gotta release them so early? Can't give me like an extra hour of sleep? Anyways, today we'll be going over some news about a new Indiana map coming soon. Plus, OK Mods is adding to his placeables with his pole barn. Now in new mods, like I said, we have a lot. So this video might be actually extra long. We got Steve's Case Puma plus a brand new mod to make silage bunkers a lot easier. Talked way too much, probably won't see the news in new mods. Well, roll that intro, let's go. What you got, we're going all the way to the top. Walking back, okay, so that first big piece of news to talk about is from 82 Square Studio, two mods have finally entered that testing list. The 20 foot gooseneck trailer and the big one right there, the TLX 3500 series. So this is round two, hopefully it passes. Also, if you guys have not taken a look at the TLX 3500 series video I did yesterday, basically an early look at it, definitely check that out. Probably one of the best trucks I've actually had a pleasure of actually playing in Farming Simulator. But anyways, that is the first piece of news for today. Let's get to that second piece of news. Okay, and that second piece of news we have for today is from Hungry Cow Design, his Sugar Creek Farms. It's actually been in production, I think, for like over a year or two now. But anyways, he has updated us with something new that's going to be on the map, and that is going to be custom license plates. So I'm really liking when modders actually do that. I know Stone Valley has its own Illinois license plate. Well, now Sugar Creek Farms will have its own Indiana license plate. Okay, then after that one, we have some news from EY Modding. Remember yesterday I was talking about the M66 that was in the background. Well, he's actually given us an update about that. He said he's ready to submit it to the mod hub. The M66 and the M66S options are available. And now the M66 has a straw chopper. There are five different brand tire options. Michelin, Trellborg, Continental, Redistine, and Midas. The next after that one, we have something from OK Used Mods, man. He makes some amazing placeables. But anyways, quick update on his current project, the 60 by 120 pole barn to the left. Current plan is for all platforms released with the option of framed or finished with siding. Color selectable siding, he would say he's about 92% done with this. So hopefully we can see this by the end of this month. Okay, the next piece of news, we actually have some news from Giants themselves. All they did was post a picture of this saying, can you guess? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. What is your guess? What do you guys think this is? I bet you this is going to be included with their free DLC coming very soon. And the last piece of news for today, and that's from Nathan6930 in his Metal Grove. He has started working on the update. Uh, right now, he's working on placeables, some new changes to the main cow farm. So as you guys can see from these pictures, this looks really good. Can't wait for this one, too. So that right there, guys, is all the news for today. Let's go over and take a look at all of those mods, which that's probably going to take a while. Well, here we are with the new mod showcase part of the video. This is going to be a long section. Today, we got 40 new mods and updates to go over. We had 32 new mods to go over for all platforms. Now, in updates, we have seven new updates. On PC only for today, we actually only just got one update to go over. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is probably going to be a long section right here, but I'm going to try to go through these as fast as I can. The first one we have is the Agro Harvester Pack from Matt26. Includes, of course, the Mossy Ferguson Activa 7347S, which is $202,000. Let's see, options on this one. Let's see, 306 horsepower, variable CVT, 620 liters of fuel, 18 miles an hour, 8,600 liters it can hold, 13.5. Let's see, Will Brand, you got Trellborg. We got Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bridestein, Trailboard, you just got wide tires. Michelin, standard or wide. Continental, just standard or wide. Midas, the same thing. And BKT, you have standard and Bridestein, standard or wide. Now, the brands, this is where it's going to change a lot. We have the Activa 7347S, or we got the Fence 6275L, which same amount of horsepower, same amount of capacity, everything is completely the same. Okay, uh, let's see rim color. You can change it either from gray or to red right there. So let's go ahead and just get one of these real quick. It also comes with two headers. We got the free flow 18 foot, which is 35,500, 5.5 working meters, 6 miles an hour is the operating speed. And you either have the Mossy Ferguson free flow 18 foot or the free event free flow 18 foot. So let's go ahead and get that one. 
Then we had the free flow 25 foot, which is the bigger one, 49,500, 7.6 working uh, meters. And of course we have the Fent version. And then we have a head cutter trailer for it too, which you can change the color to any color on that. Okay, let's actually take a look at this in game. So here we go. Let me bring up this real quick. Ooh, it says it's supposed to rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain while I'm doing this video. All right, so here we go. Here is the interior when you get into it. Uh, let's see. Lights, one, two, three, three set of lights. We got three rotating beacons, one on the back and two on the front. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that engine over. Okay, so there we go. Here's the interior whenever it's on. Let me actually do something real quick. Let me get the Fent version. Just want to see something. Okay, so we got the Fent version right next to it. And yeah, the interior is exactly the same. Yeah, everything's exactly the same. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and unfold it real quick. Okay, top speed is 20 miles an hour. Okay, that's all hooked up. Okay, we got disable straw swath. Let's see what that does. No animations on that. Pipe out. Doesn't look like there is a pipe light on there. Nope. Um, that's probably for the header. Yep. Okay, here is it on. Nice animations. Okay, so that right there goes to the Echo Harvester Pack. Next on the list, we have a few trailers. This is the Lizard RT-16 from Cluriga Modding Design. It includes the RT-16 and the RT-16. This one is 25,500, 4.6 tons. Uh, let's see, this capacity is 22,000, 24,000. Platform, yes or no. Cover, yes or no on that. And then we'll set up you have standard or standard two. And then wide tires. Uh, the good thing is, is this uh, one right here, this is not a dolly. The other one, as you see, it is a dolly. So that is perfect for me right there. And this thing can hold anything you want. Then next on the list, we have another mod from Matt26. This is the Case IH Axle Flow 2100 series. So we got the 2100 Axle Flow series, which is $150,000. Uh, let's see, options on this one, 180 horsepower, variable CVT. 491 liters of fuel, 16 miles an hour, 6,350 liters is the capacity, 9.8 tons. Let's see, engine setup, you have the 2144, which is 180. The 2144 extension, which this makes all the way to 10,000. So let's get that one. We got Wilbrand, we got Trailborg, Michelin, Midas, Continental, BKT, Vridistines, Trailborg, you got Standard, Standard 2, Wide Tires, Wide Tires 2, Twin Wheels, Twin Wheels 2, Rear Twin, sorry, Rear Narrow Twin Wheels, uh, rear narrow twin wheels too, and then back to standard. Michelin got pretty much the same thing. I'm pretty sure it's mostly going to be the same thing on all these. Yeah. Design, you have EU, and then you have the US right there. Uh, attachers, you got standard attacher, you got trailer hitch. Uh, pipe, you got standard pipe, you got long pipe. Uh, license plate, that's it on that. Okay, headers, we actually got three different headers. We got the 14 foot, 18 foot, and the 20 foot, ranging all the way up from 28,000 all the way up to 38,000. Uh, let's see, the biggest one right here. You got design no or yes, which, what does that do? Oh, okay, it puts the choppers right down there. So let's go ahead and get this one. And then of course these do come with two header, tra well, cutter trailers, sorry. Ranging from 2,600 all the way up to 3,000 for the bigger one. All right, let's go ahead and get in this one. Uh, nothing happens when you get in here. Uh, let's see. Beacons. You got one beacon right there and one beacon in the back. Lights. One, two, three, four sets of lights on this. You got turning signals. I like those turning signals. Okay, I'll be quiet so you can hear that engine. Okay, here is the interior when you turn it over. Nice interior. Everything lights up too. Okay, joystick all moves. So let's go ahead and hook up the header. Okay, the header is now hooked up. Uh, let's see. We got this messes with the header. Header, pipe out. The pipe does have a light on it. Uh, I think that's it on that. So let's go ahead. Ooh. Wow, 
Wow, you hear the sound on that? That is loud. This is a very loud harvester. Is it supposed to sound like that? It's not like it's about to break down. Actually, I think it's coming from that exhaust right there and the flapper. Wow, that is loud. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Case IH Axle Flow 2100 series. After that, we have our first tractor for today. This is the Fent 900 TMS Vario from Smeddy. Let's see, 165 horsepower, variable CVT, 500 liters of fuel, 34 miles an hour, 12.2 tons, 180,200. Wheel brands, we got Trailborg, Nikian, Michelin, Midas, BKT, Continental, and Vredestein, back to Trailborg. You got Standard, Wheel Weights, Wide Tires, Wide Tires Plus Weights, Weird Twin Wheels, Twin Wheels, Narrow Tires, Narrow Twin Wheels, and then back to Standard. And it's going to be probably the same on pretty much all of these. Yeah. Uh, mud guard. Yes or wide on that or no. And then you also got forest superstructure. I like the, how it puts that cage up there. And then back to yes. Uh, front fenders. No or yes on that. Side sign. No or EU or US. Or US long. Uh, let's see. Work light standard. Extra light. Let's put the extra light on that. Attaches, you got the 1600 kilogram front weight, three points. Uh, it's up, you got the 916, which is 165, the 920, which is 200, the 924, which is 240, the 926, which is 260, and the 930, which is 300, which is going to cost an extra 81,200. Main color, you got green, green two, black, green three, white, red, uh, blue, and then yellow. Let's just put it at the regular faint green. Then, of course, you got design color. You got black engine grid or the gray. And then rim color, all these colors right here. Ooh, that actually looks really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this real quick. I'm actually liking the way that this looks. Wow, nice vent. Here is the interior, really detailed. Okay, lights. One, two, three, three sets of lights. Like how the lights are. Two rotating beacons. Come and turn that engine over. Okay, here's the interior when you turn it over. Everything all lights up on here. Lights, turn signals. This is a very detailed mod right here. Okay, you can also change the driving directions, which flips you over that way. So let's go back over here, and there we go. Okay, top speed is 34 miles an hour. And I don't think it's going to hit it before we hit the wall. Okay, so there we go right there. Really nice tractor. So that right there, guys, is the Fent 900 TMS Vario. Okay, next on the list we have is a few weights. This is the Waypack 800kg 2250kg from Schwaben Gamer. It includes the 1800, which is 1,900, 1.8 tons. We got additional weight, standard. 150, 300, 450, and then back to there. Lights, no, uh, yes, so that's pretty nice. You can actually put lights on here. And then main color, you have any color on that one. And then we have the 800, which is 1,100, 800 kilograms. You got warning sticker, one, two, one plus two, and then back to no. Lights, yes or no. Main color, any color, and then design color, you got yellow, red, or white, which probably puts the warning sticker. Yep, it does. Okay, so there we go. Then after that one, we have a very unique mod right here. This is the portable diesel tank from Team IWMM. Holds 2,000 liters of diesel, 50 kilograms, 1,800. Main color, you have any color you want. But what's pretty cool about this, let's go ahead and get one real quick. So there it is right there. Can we pick that up without using... Oh yeah, I can pick it up. So we can go ahead and pick this up, move it around. Let me go over to the fuel area real quick so we can show this off. So that is in the fuel area believe okay how do you actually get diesel in here hmm maybe you do have to have a forklift so let's go ahead and get a forklift just really quick uh forklift there we go let's get it's my favorite one you know what? i haven't actually used that new one yet at all okay come on let's go So we're going to go ahead and try to pick this thing up and see how we actually can fill this thing. Okay, there we go. 
Okay. Okay, like I, like I said, how do you feel this thing? Enter. Oh, okay, you can actually enter it. Okay, why can't I enter it unless... Is, can you only enter it whenever it's on there? Okay, but anyways, refill. I like how it's so close and it actually tells you right there. Yeah, let me let me try that again. Okay, so let's go back over to here. Okay, why can't I get into my... Now I can't get into my forklift. Okay. Okay, now I'm in it. Oops, turned off the engine. What the hell heck am I doing? I almost said something else. <laughs> All right, let's go back over here. Okay, let me try to get in there again. Okay, now it's allowing me. I don't know. Yeah, let me try to actually fill this thing up at least about to about 20%. And there's a plane going overhead. Okay, 20%. Okay, can we actually pick this thing up? No, now it is too heavy. So it does get too heavy. So that right there, guys, is the portable diesel tank. I like how it actually says that right on the side, though. Okay, next on the list, we have some more fence. This is a fence Vario 700 series from Schnobel Modding. It includes the 700 Vario Gen 6, the 700 Vario S4, and the 700 Vario SCR. Let's see, 138,000 for this one right here. Uh, let's see, some of the options on that. 150 horsepower, variable CVT, 400 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour, 8.1 tons, 144,152. Will Brand, we have Trailborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vridistine, Trailborg, yes, standard. Wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, wide tires too. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Haven't seen that before. Wide tires three, wide tires plus weights too. Wide tires four, wide tires five, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, narrow tires, rear narrow twin wheels. Jeez, there's a lot of different options. Narrow tires, narrow tires three, narrow tires four, standard. Jeez. I'm going to go to those ones. Those ones right there. I've never seen that. All right, but anyways, uh, let's see. Design. We have default. Design line. Or back to default. Mirror base. You got mirror base. Mirror wide angle. Mirror wide angle electric. And then back to base. Huh. Clearance light. No. Or yes on that. Let's put a yes on that one. Warning signs. No. Warning signs. Old. Warning signs new, and then back to no. I just wish that we could get the US ones on this. Beacon lights, no. Left, both, and then back to there. Settings, you got power. You've got power plus setting one. Okay, let's try this again. If you guys heard that ding, that was because Queen decided to message me on Facebook and it dinged on my PC. But anyways, settings, we got power plus settings one, which is 17,308, which I don't know what this actually changes. Let me... Let me see. Oh, okay. It changes the inside. Okay, let's go to setting two. Front load attach, no. Quickie, Hauer, and then back to no. Instead, we have the 714, which is 150. The 716, which is 171. The 718, which is 188. The 720, which is 209. The 722, which is 228. The 724, which is 246. Uh, and then, of course, you got main color. You either have greens, blacks, or red. Uh, design color the same thing and rim color you either got red black glossy gray or beige so let's go ahead and get this one right here the gen 6 then we got the s4 which is pretty much exactly the same i think besides the engine actually i think these are all the same let's see 246 246 they are so i think that it's just the way that they really look 714 those actually kind of look exactly the same and so does that one so, let me get this one real quick. We're just going to test these things out. See if we can find anything different. Alright, so there we go right there. Yeah, these, to me, they look exactly the same. I mean, well, this one, oh, well, actually, yeah, they're, I don't know. Right, anyways, let's get into this one real quick. So, the steering wheel does come down. We got rotating beacons, one, two, three, three sets of lights, turn signals. Uh, let's see, let's turn over that engine. Engine sounds are really nice. Here's the interior with it all lit up. Wow, it's a really nice tractor. Okay, let me actually go into this one real quick. Just want to check something. Yeah, engine sounds the same too. All right, let's see, nothing on that. Horn, wow, loud horn. You can open up that. 
can open up this and you can open up that okay top speed is 34 miles an hour and this thing is going to hit it probably not before I hit the wall though sounds like an electric tra tractor a little bit a different kind of sounds but look at the level of detail on this thing the stickers and everything love this fence so that is the fence vario 700 series after that we have a fertilizer spreader slash lime spreader this is the lizard ac2 from david mtnz holds 1500 liters 482 kilograms 42 uh working meters so that's pretty big right there 11 miles an hour is operating speed 8500 extension you got 1500 2050 2600 and then back to there Without stairs or with stairs, which puts the stairs right there. Uh, stickers, you have stickers one, two, and then back to there. Okay, now on to the next one, which is a very unique one. This is the Lizard Personal Lighting. This is from Mantred. So it includes a flashlight, a headlamp, and night vision. Uh, but anyways, also something to note about this, unable to run while hand tools are out. But anyways, we have the night vision, which is $200 right here. And you could just purchase it, I guess. We've got the flashlight, which is fifty dollars. So let's go ahead and place that. And headlamp, which is seventy-five dollars. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay. So let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Yep. Got night vision. Then got a flashlight, right? This is that. This is actually pretty cool. Then the headlamp. Huh. Wow. Okay. Let me actually take a look at something. Let's go over to here. Let's go to weather. Let's let's make it nighttime. So let's make it one o'clock. Are you sure you want to advance time? But sure. And now it looks now it's raining. Okay. Anyways, let's see this. Here we go. Wow. Okay. I actually kinda like this. Huh. And we got that. And then we of course got the regular headlamp. Let's see. I like those a lot better than, you know, say, like, that. Okay. So that right there, guys, is the Lizard Personal Lighting. Next on the list, we have a new cultivator. This is the Lizard PH25 from Langro Modding. Let's see. 2.7 tons. It does require 200 horsepower, 6.2 working meters, 10 miles an hour is operating speed, $9,000. Design, you got no stickers with stickers, which puts the stickers right over there if you can see it. And then main color, you have any color you want. So if you want to have it as Sam's pink, you can have it as Sam's pink. Then next on the list we have is the Gronick Bell Fork Single, which is from BD Monty. 300 kilograms, let's see, $500, and there is no options on that. This is just for a single round bale. Then next on the list we have is the Goldhofer STZ VP3 Low Loader. Let's see, this is from HR Force. Let's see, it is 7.9 tons, $45,000. Design color, you have pretty much any color you want. So if you wanted to have it as, say, Joe's purple, you can have it as Joe's purple. Design color, any color too. So let's change that to black, which changes that. And then, of course, the rim color, you can have any color with that. That actually doesn't look too bad. It looks like it does have extensions right there. Love the tires. This is a really nice low loader right here. Then next on the list is something I've been waiting for a while. This is the Lizard Forge pickup from Fluffy Mods. 1.9 tons. It does require 90 horsepower. 12 miles an hour is the operating speed. $75,000. We got configuration forge pickup. Bolt pickup or back to forge. Main color, you got any color you want. And design color, any color. But what is amazing about this, guys, is you put this in front of your tractor or say like the Roadrunner Plus, And then you put a trailer behind, you know, your... Uh, your you know roadrunner or your tractor and then when you're doing you know like those uh, big bunkers you can use this to basically pick it up easily and just put it right into the trailer makes makes doing bunkers so much more easier which i'll actually you know what let, let's leave some pictures right here of this thing actually working okay now the next one after that one we have is the horse tiger 6dt from ddic 96 6.5 tons it does require 300 horsepower this is a cultivator Six working meters, nine miles an hour is operating speed, $39,000. Will brand, we have Trailborg, Vredestein. Trailborg, you just got standard and the same thing with Vredestein. Then next, another cultivator. This is the Lizard SCHA from Hispano Mods. Let's see, 2.3 tons. It does require 220 horsepower, six working meters, nine miles an hour is the operating speed, 15,700. Tow configuration, you got type one, type two. Uh, configuration decals, yes or no. 
model, you got the SCHA25. You got the SCHA33, which is, let's see, it does require 300 horsepower, eight working meters. And back to there. Uh, let's see, chassis color, you have any color. Color design, any color. Let me try to change that. And then, of course, you can change the roller color. So Sam's color right there. Then the next mod after this, this is from Steve Mods. He's been trying and trying to get this thing out. I'm finally glad he's able to get this out. This is the Case Puma 240 CVX. Let's see, 225 horsepower, variable CVT, 390 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour, 8.7 tons, $188,000. Or like what I like to call this is the Gas Guzzler. Uh, but I don't know, actually. I haven't actually used this thing in FS22, really, so... Might have changed since then. Let's see. Trailborg, Nokian, Michelin, Continental, BKT, Vridistine, Midas. Back to Trailborg. You got standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, narrow tires, and then back to standard. It's going to be pretty much the same thing with everything. Uh, let's see. Front loader attached, you got no or yes. And then you got the 185 CVX, which is 225. The 200 CVX, which is 245. The 220 CVX, which is 260. The 240 CVX, which is 270, and there we go. Let's see, it also changes from power shift to variable CVT. Uh, let me get this one real quick, and let me get just the standard wheels. All right, so there it is in game right there. Let's go over and take a look at this. Let's get inside of it. Uh, no animations in the inside. Lights, one, two, three, three sets of lights. We got two rotating beacons. You see the CB antennas right there. Let me turn that engine over so you guys can hear it. Nice engine sounds. Here's the interior when you turn it over. Okay, let's see. Horn, and that is it on that. Top speed is 34 miles an hour. Okay, so there we go. I'm not going to hit it. 35 miles an hour. Like the smoke. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Case Puma 240. Okay, now the last regular mod we have for today for all platforms is this one, the Jens Cobra Hybrid from HR Frost. The Jens Hem 922DQ Cobra Hybrid is a truck chipper with a rotating cabin. The normal truck driver cab was replaced by a rotating Kloss cab. The swivel range of 270 degrees gives the driver a clear view of the working area of the new HEM 922DK. Thanks to the hybrid drive, the new chipper has a system output of around 1,322 horsepower and is therefore designed for continuous use under the most difficult conditions. Uh, but anyways, this is $660,000. And like I said, 1,322 horsepower automatic transmission. Uh, option on this one, you got Continental and then Nokian. We got Design 1, Design 2, Design 3, 4. Uh, then you got the Tri-12s. Right there, Ground Kings. Back to there, we got Window Decal, No or Yes, which says uh, Hacky Peter, I think that's what it says. Flashlights, Yes or No. Uh, crusher Decal, you got, I have no clue what that says. Uh, you got Bull Bar, Yes or No on that. Actually got a bunch of different designs with that one. Uh, you can also change the color of the Bull Bar. Stainless steel looks really good. You can change chassis color, extension color, crane color, claw color, rim color, and then all of that. So what this is, is pretty much a mobile wood chipper. That is pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so here we are with the first placeable mod for today, and that is the residential container. Actually, today we have a lot of placeables to go over. The first one, though, like I said, residential container from NRX. E-C-K-I. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But anyways, this is a house right here. So if we go over here, you can actually open that up. Here is your wardrobe right there. Here is a sleep trigger. And where's the light switch? It's just said light. Turn on light. There we go. So we do have a light right there. We got some chests right there. So we either got it like that or we have it as just a decoration right over here. Which you can turn the light on. Come on, turn the light on. There you go. Okay, where can you find these? The first one... The farmhouse one is right there. It's $12,000. Then the other one, if you go under decoration, go all the way to the end. There it is right there, $12,000.
Okay, now you want to talk about something really big? This is the Modern Building, a building that can be purchased for your property and will generate profit by monthly. This is from Namog Mod. Let's see, cost is $580,000, maintenance is $145 a day, maximum profit per month is $60,624, variable according to the seasons right there. So this, this is a pretty big place. Where can you find this? If we go into production, go into generators, and there we go right there. And there's two of them. There's either the blue one right there, or that's kind of purple, or this one right over here. Okay, the next place what we got for today is the BR Small Shed from ML Modding. We got these two right here. Uh, there's actually three of them. The other one's, I think, I think a different color. I, th I think it's opened up. Anyways, here we go right here. This, okay, where's the light switch? Okay, these lights might come automatically at night because I don't see one. Then we also have the open one right over here. The other one, let me actually go right over here, um, is... Uh, there it is right there. So we also got this one right here. This one's more of an open one too, as you see. I was just checking something. Okay, but anyways, that is the BR Small Shed. Okay, now the next new mod is this one. This is the Buyable Manure from Michael LS. This is a cheap manure source. Price is $500. Daily upkeep is $5 a day. So just bring your trailer, whatever you want, right over here, and you can fill it up. Where can you find this one? I believe this one is actually under container. Yes, there it is right there. $500. Okay, now next on the list, our first production building. This is the production for empty pallets and barrels from Zodal Zaki. This mod includes a production for empty pallets and barrels, a storage shed for emptying the pallets, and a storage shed for barrels. Production produces empty pallets and barrels from boards and beams. Wood chips are produced as a byproduct. This is $110,000. Cycles per month is $585. Cost per cycle is $100. So there we go right there. Also, when you do download this, you will download Zotelzocket's actually sawmill, which you need that to actually run this. Because if we go over here, you see right there, it says it needs beams and planks, and you get that from the sawmill. But anyways, there we go right there, and you will get empty pallets, wood chips, and empty barrels out of there. So really nice little bitty production building right here. And then here is the storage shed. So here's the pallet one right there. So if you click on right there, and you go right there, there is the storage for that one. And then there's the storage for the barrels. And I believe if we go over to the cell area, it should now be in here. We we'll probably have to put down a cell area to sell it, but yeah. Uh, where is it at? All the way down the bottom. And there, oh, actually, there is a, okay, so we can sell it on here. That's pretty nice. Wow, look at the prices on those. Those are actually really good. Okay, so there we go with the first production building for today. Okay, let's go through some more Zotozaka mods. The first one is the Bell Chipper. This mod includes a Bell Chipper. Here, bells can be chopped into bulk. The plant accepts straw, hay, grass, silage, and poplar bales. Cost is $50,000. Cycles per month is $600, and cost per cycle is $1. So let's go over to here, of course, and we can see it right there. So, like I said, straw, grass, hay, silage, and wood chips. And, of course, it comes out as, you know, loose. The next new mod after that one is a pretty interesting one. This is the composter from Zotelzaki. This mod includes a composter with this composter, bark, mulch, wood chips, straw, grass, and biomaterial can be processed into compost. With quick composter from the store, the production can be accelerated. So you get the quick one, it can be accelerated on there. So we have this, and then I believe there's actually a compost silo, if I'm not mistaken. Let me... Let me see real quick. Yes, there's a silo for quick composter, and then there's a silo for compost right there. So, uh, you can actually open up the gates right there. And then we can fill up right over here. So, if we go right here, it takes bar a bark mulch, which I have to figure out where you can actually get that. Uh, let's see, fast, wood chips, straw, grass, and biomaterial. If you guys know how to get that bark, bark mulch, let me know in the comment section below. It's probably one of his other mods. Uh, anyways, if we go over to the cell area and then go over down here, we should see compost down here. Yeah, there it is right there, compost, which there is no selling area right there. Okay, and then we have another factory from Zotelzaka, and this is the multi-fermenter. This mod includes a digester in which chaff, grass, potatoes, and biomaterial can be fermented into silage. Construction cost is $120,000, cycles per month is $864, cost per cycle is $5, and the capacity is, I think, 10 million liters per fill type. 
Biomaterial can be collected later and still appearing productions as a waste product. So if we go over here, we can open up these. So dump it in here and you can fill up through there. Let's go right over here. As you see, silage, chaff, grass, potatoes, biomaterial. So really nice right here. Okay, that is an it of the Zotal Zaken mods for today. We do have some more we're going to be going over. Okay, now the last new factory from Zotal Zaka we have is the production for paper and cardboard. This mod includes production for paper and cardboard and also warehouses for glue, paper, and cardboard. Uh, so, this factory produces paper and cardboard from empty pallets, water, and glue, and wood chips. The glue can be purchased at the store. So, we got this one right here. Let's bring this up. So, you see paper and cardboard right there. So, you pick which one you want to make. The thing that it says it has is a glue silo, but I cannot find the glue silo wherever we also do have a few warehouses we have a warehouse for paper right here and a warehouse for cardboard so this is a pretty pretty neat little thing right here also if we go over to our pallets i believe big bags do we have something yeah we got the big bag with glue which is 180 and then we got the quick composter actually i think that's for the quick composter right there yeah okay but this is the glue for that and then i believe there is a pallet of glue too yeah there is a pallet of glue right there let me check over here to see if there's any glue over here. There isn't. All right, so you can actually buy glue from up there. So glue, let's see. What else do you need right there? Water, wood chips, and empty pallets. So finally, something that we can actually use wood chips. Now, the question is, is can it take popular bales? Let me know in the comment section below if it can, guys. Also, where you can find the factory is right here under production factories. And you see right there. And then you can find the warehouses under, I believe it's silos. And there they two are. Okay, we're, we're going to try to get through the rest of these pretty fast. The first one we have is the Digestate Fertilizer Factory from FarmCat. So if we go over to here, let me actually go right there. This thing can make solid fertilizer. So it takes 10,000 liters of a Digestate and you can make solid fertilizer out of that. So that's pretty cool right there. Let's see, 48 cycles per month, $120. So this thing can make up to 48,000 liters of solid fertilizer. That's actually a lot. Let's just turn it on real quick. I just want to see it on. Oh, and that thing actually turns. Let me see what happens if we turn it off. Will it turn? Nope, it stops. So that's pretty nice right there. Where can you find this? Let's go into production. Go all the way to the very, actually right over here, and there we go. It is only $110,000. After that one, we have a new farmhouse. This is the farmhouse from Nemog Mod. Includes, well, like I said, a farmhouse. Really nice farmhouse. Very bright blue, though. Uh, you can turn on the light switch from right there. Nice TV. Hmm. Like how it actually says TV on it. Okay, then if we go over to here, we have our kitchen. This is a very detailed house, by the way. Right, come on. Ooh, what was that, actually? Oh, that's probably turned on the radio. I do not want to turn on the radio. Okay, here is your sleeping and, of course, your wardrobe. And then right over here, we have our guest bedroom. So, where can you find this house? Let's go into your buildings, farmhouses, and there it is. It is $72,000. Okay, and then next on the list, we have a huge silo. This is the grain store from Kisho. Uh, so, if we go over here, let's go ahead and open these up. Open. Open. You see right here, you dump it, actually, you fill up right to there. I think you fill up right there. I don't know why it shows it right over here, the trigger, but I'm pretty sure you dump it right in here and you fill up right to there. So actually, this is a big area to put, you know, your trucks and everything. This is going to actually go good, maybe, maybe on uh, Stone Valley, actually. Hmm, just thought about that. Plenty of lights on the outside. Okay, where can you find this? This isn't actually under silos. This is actually under sheds. And if we go all the way to... There it is right there. $428,000. It holds up to 1.6 million liters. Okay, and then after that one, we have the small garage from the Lort. And let's go over here. Let's open that up real quick. So this is just a very small garage right here. Uh, is there lights? It does not look like there is lights. So where can you find this one? Let's go under garages. We have the small garage right there. I just want to check something out real quick. Let me see tools. Okay, so there is actually one worth the workshop too. Let me see if I can buy that real quick. Yeah, there we go. This one is actually under tools. So we open that up and there we have a workshop right in here. And then now finally onto the last new mod for today. That is the modern shed from 20mm Normandy. Includes this shed right here. No lights on here. 
Uh, let's see, going to sheds all the way to the very end includes this one and this one right here, a smaller version. So that right there, guys, is all the new mods for all platforms for today. If I had to say which one was probably my favorite, uh, that would be really hard. Probably actually the forage, uh, the, the thing we can use for the silage bunkers. Uh, also, some of those tractors, those fence tractors were really nice. Okay, let's go over the updates and then the PC update and then let's do the outro. Oh wait, before we get to the updates, I actually have one more new mod for all platforms, which I thought this was one was gonna be actually a script. This is fixed cropped prices from disturbed simulations. What does this say about it? Tired for seasonally varying crop prices? Well, worry no more. With fixed crop prices, you'll get the best price for all base game crops, production outputs, and animal production all year. Okay, so the first update we have for today is this one right here, the Barn with Workshop. What changed on this one? Optimization of the collision mass for triggers and desk version increased to 65. Then we have the next update, which is the Small Shed. What changed on this? Occluder mesh enabled, optimization of the collision mass for triggers, small visual adjustments, and desk version increased to 65 on that one. Then next, we have a big update on the Mossy Ferguson 3 3700AL series. What changed on this one? Added new store item, the MF3AL. Original front weight and wheel weights added. Various adjustments were made in the configurations. Next edition text have been added to the black color option. Uh, weight configuration adjusted, wheel configuration adjusted, rim color options added, and various bugs fixed on that. Then we also have an update to the Flegal DPW210. What fixed on this one? Fixed AI warning. Then after that one, we have an update for the Mossy Ferguson 8700S. What changed on this one? Minor bugs fixed. Drive shaft animations added, new details added and model improved, and options re-edited. Okay, now we only have two more updates. The next one is for the Lizard Liquid Tankers. What changed on this one? Fixed pallet unloading, fixed unloading problem with Junior linked behind Senior. Tanker tops can now be open to enable disable filling. Vehicles can now refuel directly from tankers, added beacon options, and added finished translations. And then now the last update for all platforms for today was the tool height control for headers. What changed on this one? Fixed for use in transport mode of Case IH 3162 Teraflex Draper 45 foot. Okay, so that is all the console, well, all platform stuff. Next, we have one update to go over that was PC only. And that update was for this one right here, the additional field info. What changed on this one? Fixed compatibility with precision farming. Okay, so that is all the mods for today. Really big day. Let's go over that testing list and let's do that outro. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my I don't wanna slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get Well that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today Today's schedule, no other video So this is the only video for the day Hope you all enjoyed the video Remember if you did to smash that like button Also if you're new to hit that sub button and ring that bell And from me to you, welcome to the club See you guys in tomorrow's FS Daily News Peace